right, so I've been, um, I guess it's been five or six years possibly, I've been doing some different carving on canes and walking sticks and stuff. And I kind of saw a guy doing it on YouTube, making snake canes, and I wanted, wanted to give it a try. So, uh, I, think this is, I think this was my first one. Just a green snake, typical green snake. And uh, I did it on, I think this was maple. It was really hard. It's really hard to uh, carve in that. It's a hardwood. And I think it came out pretty good, but I'm not real happy with using maple. Then I found out about white cedar. The white cedar is way uh, softer, easier to work with. And I think this was my first rattlesnake attempt. I didn't do any polyurethane on it. I just oiled it. I forget with what, but maybe coconut oil or something. And uh, I didn't like the way the head came out. Can you see the head good? Head came out too thin. I didn't didn't like the way it came out. And I do like the I do I would burn every scale. It's a lot of work. I like the way the rattle came out pretty good. And it's super light. It's a white cedar. Got it from the UP in Michigan. Anyway, it's really nice stuff, Upper Peninsula, very top of Michigan. It's really nice and it feels good. Just not super pleased with how the head came out. It was a little too thin. Then I did uh, just a black rat snake. And I wanted it where it felt good in your hand. It looks like you're squeezing its neck. So I thought they'd be cool to look like you're squeezing the neck of the snake. And um, that's a black rat snake. I think they're pretty accurate. Every scale is wood burned in, so it takes a lot of time. And it's all one piece of wood. It's carved out of one branch or log. This one I put a little copper cap on it. Actually, it needs a little more glue. But copper cap. Keep it from splitting on the bottom. Then, way before that, I like the idea of the vine growing around a tree out in the woods. It's pretty cool. A lot of people like that. And I just put a little, this is one of the first things I did, put little faces in it where the little knots were. I made little faces where the knots already were and a little branch. Just odd, strange little things. It's a little good little walking stick. Uh, I sold a couple. I don't have with me right now. I sold a couple before, and I have pictures of those. I can show the pictures, and uh, also you you can see in this video the pictures of me working on some of them. Um, this was my wanted to do just something different instead of doing the whole snake going down the cane. Just wanted to do the head, and I thought it'd be cool to have um, cobra. So you can see each each scale is like this top of actual cobra snake scale. Got the fake eyes they have on their back. Thought it came out pretty good. I think I'd like better to do a whole snake though, but I think that came out pretty cool. White white uh, cedar again. So we're not in the top of Michigan again. I think I'm going to be using red cedar after this one. This one I'm, I started, never have gotten back to. I got to finish it. It's going to be another rattlesnake. White cedar, really light. It's soft and easy to work with. I usually do um, the little, uh, they got different names for them, but the little rotary sanders and carver thing. I don't do it literally with carving knives or nothing like that. I, like, I do like to do the rotary tool. Dremel is one of the name brands. But I got the face started. It's going to be a nice big rattlesnake's my intention on this one. And I'll take videos finishing this one. Then I also, I paint them too. Obviously, you see, I do paint them. So this is my favorite, and I think this was the last one I've done. Um, this one, I wanted to make a big rattlesnake. So it's supposed to be a diamondback rattlesnake. Diamondback rattlesnakes have a lot of different color patterns, and this is just one that I found that I thought was cool. There's a bunch of varieties of rattlesnake patterns. 
I think the rattle came out cool. I did polyurethane the whole thing, which makes the yellow come out in the um, the white cedar. I think it's really nice, and it gives the gives the snake a, glo a glossy look, like kind of like a snake. Their skin looks a little wet, glossy looking. So I thought that'd be cool, and it does give it like a shine. Anyway, I'm going to be making more and showing videos of why I'm making them, and um, these will be for sale. If anybody's interested, get back to me and let me know. I can ship them. I ship them in a cardboard tube, and um, any of these will fit in a cardboard tube, and they're pretty cool. Um, I tried this one at Walmart just for kicks and to see if it looked realistic at all, so I walked around Walmart with this one and to see what people's reaction might be, and it was actually kind of strange. Um, nobody would come within 20 feet of me, <laughs> even in line. On a crowded Walmart day, nobody would come near me in line. They were just they stayed like 20 feet away. Nobody even got behind me in line. And uh, I guess it looked pretty real. So if you want one, let me know. And if you like them, please comment, let me know. Subscribe, like, all that. Okay, good. And then...